Looks familiar, doesn't it? It all started with the scream pipe and the journey to become the superstar. Maybe you even forgot all about it. That's okay. It's been such a long time after all. Travel through the pipe and journey begins again. Finally, I made it. I guess it's all up to me. Where is everybody? It's almost time. It's been such a long time that it seems since the Cupid was such a little nervous. First, I want to say thank you for all for assembling here. Using this pipe, we can set off an adventure. Let's decide who would be the superstar. I think we'll be able to go to places you remember, places we haven't been in a long time. There's no time to waste. Let's get going. In the world of Mario Party, old and new. Anyways, so we're gonna try something a little bit different today. We're gonna play some Mario Party Superstars. We're gonna do this on weekends. I'm gonna play one round of Mario Party Superstars on weekends. Kind of give this uh, content, kind of give my channel kind of the algorithm boost I've been trying to want at the time. But I just really like this game a lot. I definitely think it's a return to form for the uh, Mario Party series. So uh, there's uh, we're gonna play a standard uh, Mario Party board and. Uh, Anyway, we're gonna play yes, and we're gonna start over. And uh, there are, I will say the roster in this game is lower than it is in prior Mario Party games. Um, I am gonna go with Waluigi. I kind of alternate between like Mario and Waluigi, but I'll just go with Mar Waluigi. Uh, let's go with Luigi as a computer player. Let's go with, uh, let's go with Daisy, and uh, let's go with Rosalina. Actually, I, I'm I'm want to go with Rosalina and let's go with Birdo. And all the computer players are going to be set to hard. And uh, one thing I we're going to play a uh, Yoshi's Tropical Island. And one thing I really like about this game is that you can set the bonus stars to on or classic. I'm going to have them on classic. We have all types of mini games. You can also set N Nintendo 64 mini games, Nintendo GameCube mini games. Or just mini games you're gonna play on the Switch. Though really, this is a remake of the uh, first ten Mario Party games and four from the first three games. This game, uh, it kind of combines the. Uh, it kind of combines the elements that you see in uh, Super Mario Party as well as uh, gameplay, as well as the actual game from the, as well as the actual game for mini games and board from previous games. I will say, even though this game is, uh, wow, I'm going last, but like, uh, even though this, I don't think this game isn't as good as the classic Mario Party games, I definitely think this game is kind of a return to form. Even though it is a remake, I definitely don't think it's as good as the classic games, but it's still a really solid game. It's easily the best Mario Party game in, like, actual years. Because I made whole videos about why Mario Party 10 9 is bad, why Mario Party 10 is bad. And she's gonna roll 10. Basically, uh... When we get to the swamp, uh, I want to basically uh, do a method that I like to do. One thing I do like about this game is how very fast-paced it is. Not only that, the uh, it defaults to uh, computer minigames getting skipped, so that's a good sign. So basically, this board works the same way as it does in the original ha B Toad and Bowser on one island, and... Uh, you have to basically go to where uh, the uh, star is, and happy faces will swap the two out. And I get to play an item game. Looks like this is a mini game from Mario Party 3. I'm just gonna play it safe and go for the uh, the custom block. 
Except I fucked up, but at least I got something good. Here we're mini game time. And we're probably, please be hammer drop. It's bumper balloon cars. This is a mini game from Mario Party 2. And we won that gratefully! Yay! That takes years of playing the classic games. I will say I definitely do enjoy this game. I definitely play this game as often as I can. Sometimes online, it's more fun to play this online with friends than it is to play by yourself on bed. One thing I really do like about this game is its online system, which we're gonna have to save for another day, but like, uh, not only is the online system great, um, not only is it the first marketing game to have, like, full online sit play, like, uh, the online actually runs really well for a Switch game. For a Nintendo Switch game, this definitely, definitely runs really well online. Like, I've had very few issues playing online. Did he just land on Bowser? He did. Now, if you have bonus stars set to on instead of classic, uh, Bowser Space is actually a bonus star. And Bowser minigame, which means we're gonna have to play a Bowser mini- we have to play a Bowser minigame. Looks like this is a recycled minigame from Mario Party 6. I will say 6 is probably my- one of my favorites of the classic Mario Party games. And they're out. As long as we can survive, we should be fine. You have to kind of watch Bowser's shadow. All right, five seconds to spare. And we survived. I always like how it plays the, jing the winning mi jingle from like every game that fits in. You can definitely tell they kind of thought this game out. Three, that sucks. Seven, better. Where will a five get me? One, two, three, four. Alright, so a blue space. By the way, Rosalina. This is one, one of my favorite things to do with this board. Hey, Rosalina. Good luck getting that star. It's one versus three, so, uh, my River Raiders. Yay, River Raiders! I will say, uh, Mario Party 3 is my favorite of the classic Mario parties. Um, I definitely like uh, that they. Uh, I really want to see the re the re release of Mario Party 3 on the Switch, which uh, they keep they've promised it last year, but it just hasn't come yet. Okay, you guys are doing horrible. Erna, why didn't you get the fucking thing? He sucks. Right, as long as nobody gets a happening space, we should be fine. She's gonna use that. Yeah. Yeah. Why well, if we get the happening space with that? It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. I'm gonna get that happening space. She didn't pay. She didn't pay. 
Seems like everyone wants to go to Bowser. It looks like everyone's buying custom blocks. You know what's really powerful to have in this particular board is a warp block. So, uh, walk me to one. Okay, yeah, two. In Balloon Burst, this is based on the Mario Party 2 version of Balloon Burst. I was just trying to get used to the controls. Why did we lose that? I never, I never lose the original version. I never lose Balloon Burst. Not even like the original or the remaster. All right, please, no one get a happening. Big bird and get happening. I think I should get a warp block. One thing I kind of don't like about this game is that they kind of hand out coins like candy. It's the same problem I have with like Super Mario Party and the lucky spaces are very frequent. They really should have lowered the amount of lucky spaces they show in this board. Like, she just got one too. At least she can get a warp block though. Wait, no, 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 no. Okay, wait, wait a minute. Okay, she, he was he missed it by one. All right, I need a four higher. Thank you. And I got the happening space, which means they're going to get stars. One thing I do like about this particular version of this board is that you can uh, skip you can uh, skip the sk you can uh, skip the scene, which makes it great. Makes it much faster than the original. Well, at least I'm not part of Rosalina again. I am literally actually I, I wouldn't say I'm the master of Mario Party Three minigames. There are people that actively speed run the Mario Party Three story mode. Luigi, go the other way. Luigi, go the other way. Thank you. The game also ends when you get five of them. She gets a 10, which means she's gonna get a star. Yeah, every time you pass Koopa, you get 10 coins, much like the original. She used that to get a blue space. She could have screwed. Actually, she would have screwed herself. Wait a minute. Okay, seven. He has not enough of a star, though. Okay, the happening makes more sense. He wanted to pass the star, but also screw Rosalina out of it.
I got a lucky space lace. Uh, see how many I steal from her. I think this is worth a more pretty one where you don't really steal much. I only stole seven, that's lame. I get a warp block. I'm on the island with the star, so I'll just use that later. Okay, so every five turns is gonna be a bonus minigame. Where the coins are doubled. Come on, hammer drop, hammer drop, hammer drop. Yeet! Oh, this is gonna be fucking great. You also get way more coins in this version than the original look like. 35 and, uh... Look how many fucking coins I'm going to get out of this. 102. Hammer drop is so fun, but it's so broken, guys.